I think the Buddha's uh, fo foremost and foundation preachings of mindfulness and the mind, the strongest and the, the creator of all things, the mind, I think you have uh, something to begin with. Well, in the uh, teachings of the Buddha in the uh, Dhammapada, Mano Pubangama Dhamma Mano Siddha Mano Maya, meaning that the mind is the forerunner of everything and everything is being created by the mind, um, tells us that, you know, without the mind you can't really do anything. And um, so now we have uh, dealt with uh, what is called uh, Kaya Nusati, that is the mindfulness of the body, Vedana Nusati, the mindfulness of the feelings, Chitta Nusati is the kind of also um, mindfulness of the mind, but then Dhamma Nusati, which is I think now the topic, um, covers both the mind and also the nature of things, both in the mind and the body, and not only in oneself, but also in the outside world. Namely, that what you get to see by the practice of mindfulness through the Satipatthana Bhavana, the development of mindfulness on body, feelings and mind, you start to see how everything is changing all the time. Everything is in a flux. Nothing remains the same. Now, if that is the case, then how can it really give us pure, eternal happiness? It can't. You start to see that these things actually, because they are uh, impermanent, they are also a source of unsatisfactoriness, dukkha. And you start to see that if they are impermanent and a source of unhappiness, then they actually also cannot be really me, mine, myself or my own. So they are anatta. That kind of insight into anicca, dukkha, anatta is part of the result of the practice of mindfulness of the nature or dhamma. First, fair everywhere. This is Avadarana 24, Sri Lanka's news channel.